Hey guys, Katie here. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. We're happy to have you. And today I'm going to be doing a reading vlog. Here's the thing though. So I wanted to do a reading vlog for the Diviner series and I posted a poll on my Insta story and said, do you guys want to see the reading vlog of the whole Diviner series in one video or do you want to see a separate video for each book in the quartet? So four videos. I got a lot of answers but I didn't get an answer because I got 49% to 51%. Like this didn't really help. But the 51% was to do them individually. So whoever that one person was that voted in that direction, this is for you. The Diviners is basically like a fantasy mystery thriller. So it's set in the 1920s and it's about a squad of characters, like a group of characters who are diviners. And it's basically like a diviner is when somebody has some sort of supernatural power. Like our main character, technically there's like five to like eight main characters, but the main, main narrator, main character, Evie O'Neill, is a 17 year old girl who if she holds something of yours, she can see your secrets, she can read like your memory, she can see your past. Um, there's a lot of other characters, like there's a character who can walk in dreams, there's a character who can heal people, there's um, just a bunch of different things that people can do, but none of them tell anybody that they can do these things, or some of them are blabbers, but most of them keep it to themselves because it's very unnatural. But then they kind of find each other, and it's that... Um, discovery of friendship that I think really makes this such a fantastic book. It's a very found family. But also what's happening in New York City is that there's a serial killer on the loose that calls himself Naughty John. That sounds insane, but it's so gripping. You have no idea. So Naughty John is out there and he's killing people and he's taking their body parts. And it's a very like ritualistic kind of demonistic, like satanistic rituals of killings that he's doing and these characters find themselves thrown together to solve this crime and under the watchful eye of a, a guy who's Evie's uncle Will who owns a museum of oddities but New York calls it the museum of the creepy crawlies and he knows a lot about ritual crime he knows a lot about you know demonology all these different things spiritualism so he is tasked by the police force to help them solve these crimes. And then of course his niece, Evie, and all these other characters that get pulled into it are also helping to solve this. That's what the book is about. Not gonna give anything else away, but I'm gonna start reading and we're gonna just jump right in because I'm honestly so freaking excited. Yo, I am gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts. And I'm gonna get the same coffee that I did last time, but this time I'm not gonna make the same mistake. When they say, do you want cream and sugar? I'm gonna say, what is it I'm gonna say? I'm gonna say, yes ma'am, but I would like skim milk and no calorie sweetener. Thank you so much, have a nice day. Perfect. <laughs> I gotta practice this shit because I don't know what I'm talking about. But the last time it was so sweet and it had way too many carbs in it. So, gotta change that and then I also um I just read like the first chapter of the diviners again and this is like such a good book I'm so obsessed I cannot get this right to save my goddamn. like okay so this time I don't think it was my fault I said exactly what I said I was gonna say and they gave me like a hazelnut swirl instead of just like a hazelnut ice latte which like the swirl is like ice cream and I mean, it tastes good. It's just like, I have diabetes, like. Oh my God. My poor dear Aunt Martha. I thought her name was Gertrude. Gertrude and Martha, they're twins and both blind. The poor, poor dears, farewell. God, I love Evie O'Neill. <laughs> oh my God. Thank God. Sam Lloyd is in the freaking building. I'm obsessed with him. Okay, this slide, this slide. Are you on the level? Me? I'm so on the level, I can't get off it. <laughs> we love banter. We love banter. I love them.
listen, I'm going to try to go for a walk and I'm going to try to read the diviners, but I don't know if you can tell, but I got sunscreen in my freaking eyeball and it burns. Oh my God. I don't want this to ruin my plans, but oh my God. Okay. We'll see. finished with my walk but then I got this freaking schmuck coming in from wherever the fuck mountains she's been at so I opened the door for her because I thought she was about to fall to her freaking death down the stairs so I got like 30 pages in I don't know I'm reading it so slowly because I'm obsessed I'm obsessed like do you understand I'm like literally I'm not going to say the word again, but you know what I want to say. Guys, listen, do I wish I was less materialistic? Do I wish I could just be happy with what I have? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Don't we all? Um, but do you see what I'm working with? This is what I'm working with. And I know you've gotten this far in the video and I've been reading it like this. Um, and I got a hundred pages and 105 pages and I can't do it anymore. I went on a walk with this book and I was so embarrassed. That is so messed up to say that. Like what's wrong with me, you know, that I'm embarrassed by like the cover of a book, but I was legit like reading it like, <laughs> like this. I'm like, nobody needs to see me walking around in these streets with a book that looks like this. It's just, I'm not this girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't... I literally was walking around, like, last week reading Pet Cemetery, and then this... No. No. I have a reputation in my neighborhood to stand up to. And this is really... <laughs> killing it. I am not living up to the expectation that my neighbors have of me. So... I bought the hardcover. I said I wasn't going to do it. I uh, bought the first three of these in paperback. And if you want to see a full list of my emotions, I'm going to have the video linked where I open these and I just have a full on meltdown. So I didn't want to spend the money to buy the hardcovers, but you know what? I bought these um, full price. I am really sorry that I did buy the first two on Amazon, but I'm so pumped to open this. And then Layer of Dreams, the second book, is at my leasing office because I don't know why they got delivered on the same day, but one went to my office and one to my, went to my front door. Oh, but anyway, I'll open the other one tomorrow. Today it is 12.45 a.m. So it's almost 1 a.m. And I am so pumped to open this. I just got home from work. And this is going to be what makes my day exciting. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, there's something sticky all over it, but I could deal with that. This book is freaking ginormous. I'm. Ooh. Oh my god! I love it. Oh my god! 
Oh my God, I love it. Okay, there's something sticky all over the back. It's sticky. This, I am absolutely shook. Is this like a large print edition? I think this is literally like a large font edition. Like, what do you call that when they have like, like large print? I don't know what this is. Why did they send it to me like this? I have a mix of emotions. This is definitely prettier, but this is not what I ordered. Okay, I need to go deal with my emotions. Um, bye. Okay, it's the next day, and I just got the package from my office. This is the second book. This is what's going to make or break it, because if I really like the way this book looks, then I'll keep this absolute tome. But I don't think you understood last night how big this book was. Like, okay, a little comparative, okay? This is the paperback. This is like 470 pages. Excuse me? Like, it's absolutely insane. And then you can see how small the writing is here. And then how absolutely deafeningly loud this writing is. Like, I just don't... I don't understand. So let's just open up the second package and see what I think. Oh, it's wrapped. Okay. <laughs> okay, she's cute. She is cute. Let's see. The book is really big, but it's really big in a normal way. And I just cut the pages. Why am I so destructive? Like, can I just be careful for like one second? Like, just be nice, Katie, to your books. Okay, this is nice. This is nice. This is cute. Okay. Let's see what it looks like next to each other because... <laughs> um. Okay, well, they're the same height. God fucking bless. Also, something I don't understand is why the pages are so yellow on this one when it's new. Um. Still don't know how I feel. <laughs> still. I just don't know. I don't know. Should I keep this one? Like, I don't want a large print edition, but I feel like there aren't any other ones available. Okay, I need to go think this over because I really don't know what to do. And I had to return, or I'm going to return, the large print of the diviners because it's just too big and I like can't carry it around. So I ended up getting one on eBay that's used and it's gonna hopefully come by like the end of September and early October. So because I've already annotated in this, I think I'm just going to keep annotating in it. And then when I get the new one, transfer my annotations to the one I want to keep and then put this one in the free library because I don't want to sell it if it has annotations in it. But if it's, oh, I lost my bookmark. No, wait. Shaved. If, um, if it's in the free library, like, I don't think anybody's going to care if it has writing in it, like it's free. So <sighs> there's a bug. Um, but it is, it's been raining off and on all day. And every time it rains, I just stand under a tree. So it is sweaty in these parts, y'all. But anyway, I'm on page like 135. And it is just, it's a goddamn delight. This book is so good. I had to come home immediately like could not do any more filming could not do <laughs> any more reading because I was taking this photo and I was bit 10 times by a mosquito or like a family of mosquitoes a murder of mosquitoes I don't know like why are crows the only things that are a murder because like mosquitoes are like the skin serial killers of the insect world like it's Anyway, I didn't get that much farther into it. Um, I do have the audio available at my library and I think I'm actually just gonna buy the audios because I'm sure I'm gonna listen to them over and over again. I think I'm going to 
maybe listen to the audio and do a puzzle and then maybe like whenever I hear a part that I'm really liking on the audio I'll like stop and like read the physical book. We'll see. So I have to work all day today, but we have another uh, Dunkin' and Chillin' uh, moment. We're in the parking garage. I'm like, I have like 15 minutes, I think, maybe even less. I have no idea. Uh, till I have to go to work. So I'm going to read a little bit, but I did get quite a bit of this book done last night, actually. I got to page 216, and I was on like 140 or something. And oh my god, I know you're gonna hear me say this a bajillion times, but it's just so good. Like, what else do I need to say? Like, what do I need to say to get you to read this book? Because it's so, it's phenomenal, okay? And like, yes, every character is my favorite. Like, they're all my babies. I love all of them. But like, Memphis just met one of my other favorite characters. And if you know, you know. If you know, you know. They just met. They just met. And I'm so excited. I love it. I love it. I'm just like, oh my god. And they held hands. Yee! Anyway, I'm not spoiling anything. I'm not doing that. Um, <laughs> this is a spoiler-free zone. Katie, kind of. It's spoiler-ish. Free. But anyway, I'm gonna get to reading. I love my neighbors. Wow. We have, um, this is just our meats and cheeses, you know? Every day we be about this cheese life. It smells unfortunate in here right now because I have some stuff that is spoiled. It's totally cool though. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, we love a success. We, no, no, no. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> I've had this one in slice of bread for a very long time because I keep telling myself at some point I'm gonna be okay with eating the end slice. It hasn't happened. Why would I do that when I have a whole slice of regular bread? Oh my God, Dan, this looks so freaking good. I'm just me. And then this is gonna go in here for now. This is going home with our friend Grace. Hmm. Oh Let's see this end piece of bread. Oh, <laughs> this is, um, this is the, the lonely man. Okay, I made whatever the fuck this is, but it's gin and it's good. So that's it. Um, cheers. Mm -hmm. Cute. So she's gonna do my hair. I don't know what she's gonna do. She just said, you cut your hair. Can I play with it? And I was like, yes, let's do this. And she said that it's gonna be diviners inspired. And I was like, Sign me the fuck up. When do you want to come over? Is it 1 a.m.? I don't care. Show up. I'm letting you in, okay? So um, that's what we're going to do. And I might, like, record some of it or time lapse it. But I forgot to give you an update. I am pretty damn close to the end of this book. I think I have, like, 50 pages left. And uh, it's so good. <laughs> so good. It's so good. Um, why have you not read it yet? Where are you? Can I come over to your house? Can I spoon feed it to you? I will read it to you while you sleep. I will give it through osmosis. Like everybody in the world needs to read this book. And I understand if you need to put a paper bag over it because it's so ugly. I need to stop saying that. But um, I'll hit you back when I'm done with the book. And I'll give you a little wrap up. Even though the wrap up is going to be that it was great. Okay. Beth said there's new um, JK Rowling news. And I feel like maybe I won't get as upset if I know I uh, am being filmed. So... Hit me with it. <laughs> so, uh, her latest book that she's announced that she's writing is about a murderous cis man dressing up as a woman to kill people. Ooh. I'll leave you with this. Thank you. Bye. So, like, Tootsie, but like a killer. 
yeah, and it's in the 2020, you know, where it's very clear that this is, she basically said, I heard you, I see that this is not acceptable, and I raise you a new book. Oh my god. She's like, give me more money. She's a loon. She's an absolute loon. No, do you know this is gonna, this is gonna plummet. Like, there's no way this book is gonna make a bunch of money. The only way it's gonna make a bunch of money is, like, if all these transphobes are like, you gotta support your queen and go buy it. I finished it. This book <laughs> means so much to me. Like, ah! okay, I literally annotated so, oh my God, just flipped to a random page. Let's talk about annotation for a second. I highlighted the shit out of this book because it's all so beautiful. All the characters are my children. I'm obsessed with them. Okay, well, you know how mothers say that they never have a favorite? Well, I'll tell you I have a least favorite. This is horrible, but not a super big fan of Jericho. I mean, I think that his backstory is super interesting, but... I just don't really care about him even close to as much as I care about the other characters. Like, Memphis and Theta and Evie and Sam are everything! They're everything! I'm, oh my god, I love them so, so, so much like isaiah is so precious like uh, will is so precious we love him um the okay the only other character the only character that i did not like in this book and did not find entertaining was blind bill like what's the point of him you think because i just did not give a single shit i even thought john hobbs was super interesting and like the lady's son or the person that thought whatever the, the woman that loved him um she was interesting but blind bill whatever we're not going to talk about blind bill anymore what are you sleeping on go read this book it's like i don't need, i don't know this might be my favorite book of all time like <laughs> i'm obsessed strong words in the heat of the moment but this might be my favorite book ever like i am so obsessed with it turns out i was not being dramatic in that last clip if this isn't my favorite book of all time that's one of them. Like, I feel like that's such a hard thing to say. Like, in a year, maybe, I could give it more perspective. But this is tailor-made for me. I am not someone who ever reads historical fiction. I just don't prefer it. And I'm not really a big fan of things set in the past. But the 20s hit different, okay? The 20s are my thing. I freaking love it. It's like you're like kind of fresh off the war. There is like a kind of a depression happening, but then there's also like flappers. There's jazz and gin and just music and dancing. And it's just all underground and back alleys and just like flair, so much flair. And I dig it, okay? And Libba Bray did an absolutely stunning job of the atmosphere of the 20s and the jargon. The jargon is what she did the absolute best. Like, the one thing I can't get over is that Evie calls gin giggle water. <laughs> That's hysterical. Like, I love that. And she's always like, are you on the level? I'm like, I... That kind of shit gets me. So speaking of the wordplay that Libba Bray uses, I am absolutely in love with the pet names that the characters use for each other. Now there is a lot, but I have a top three. Now Kat from Paperback Dreams has the same one as me and it's Baby Vamp and it's what Sam calls Evie. Oh my God, Sam Lloyd. Take my life, take my heart, take my home, take my wallet. Like I, I love him. He's arguably my favorite character. I think he might actually be my favorite character. I mean, I love them. They're all my babies, all my children. Obsessed. But Sam Lloyd, like, deserves another level of life. Okay? Anyway, the other two nicknames that I'm absolutely obsessed with are what Memphis and Theta call each other. So, uh, Theta calls Memphis poet. But the way she says it is just so sexy. Like, I love it. And then Memphis calls her Creole princess. Oh, <laughs> It's hot. It's hot. It's sweet. It's a good time. It is a lovely time. It is um, heart achingly beautiful. Speaking of heart achingly beautiful, the relationships. Oh my God, Libba Bray does that. She does that. She does it. And she does it well. She does it great. She does it the best, I would say. So a couple of the relationships that I absolutely love, I mean, God, I love so many of them, but my top 
Top three. Okay. First one is Sam and Evie. Mm. I need, I need them to become like the con man king and queen of New York City. I want them to be like pickpocketing people, being famous, getting lots of money, just out there living life to the fullest. I love them. Fast and furious. Okay. The reason I love them. So it's like a con man meets a flapper, you know, that's their vibe. But they both are living life to the fullest. They are just not taking anything seriously. They just want to live fast, die young, and have fun. With Sam's like smooth talking, fast, like fast hands. And then with Evie's like audacity, like her boldness and her brightness, just shining through in everything they do together. Oh, we love an enemies to lovers. And Libba Bray does it so well, because the thing is, it's so freaking entertaining. Like their, this, you know, butting heads all the time is like hot. It is, a, it's hot. It's so good. Number two is going to be Theta and Memphis. They are so sweet. Like they're both artists and they're both so poetic, so lyrical. Like their relationship feels like a song. I, I love it. And also, um, uh, as refers to like diversity, He's black, he's Haitian, or at least half Haitian, and um, she, I'm forgetting, like, Creole, she's Louisiana? I'm sorry, I don't remember, but it is a um, black and white relationship, and that is discussed in the book in terms of, like, um, the adversity between, uh, adversity with that being an issue, um, but they are never treat it like they shouldn't be together or something. It's just so absolutely stunning. And they just make your heart swell. Like you want them to be happy. You are like, you deserve to be happy. Like in my opinion, they absolutely have earned each other. Now the third relationship is Henry and Theta. And I'm telling you right now, there's never ever been a more supportive relationship, a more supportive friendship in the history of time. Henry is absolutely the most supportive friend in the entire world. Okay? Like he is like Theta. You're a star and the world's going to know you're a star. And then Theta is like you too, pal. You're a star and we're going to make you a star. And it's so inspiring and admiring like how much they admire each other is so beautiful. And let me tell you. Let me tell you. Whenever you get to that part where you get to the backstory of how they met, it had me tearing up, y'all. Okay, I'm not going to spoil anything, but the piano fund. Guys, <laughs> guys, there has never been something so heartbreaking and heartwarming in ever. Okay, real quick, I need you to stop. I need you to look at me. Okay, are you, are you listening? Listen to the audiobook. Go get it. Listen to the audiobook. Okay, was that enough? Okay, let's go back. Uh, the audiobook is um, fe na me no, phenomenal, fantastical, magical, beautiful, lyrical. It is every freaking thing. It is so good. Okay, it might be my favorite audiobook ever. I'm really selling this book. I'm selling it so hard. I'm sorry if I'm hyping it up too much, but then again, I'm not because it's, it, it's going to meet the hype. Trust me, it's going to meet the hype. But the audiobook is a great, great way to ingest this story because the thing is, like, say, Theta is a jazz singer. Um, Henry is a piano player, but he also writes songs. Um, Memphis is a poet. The narrator sings those lyrics. And whenever Theta sings, she sings it. When Henry is saying one of his, is like saying what the lyrics are to one of his new songs, she sings it. And her voice is stunning. Her voice is so good. And it really just lends such depth to the story like I can't sing like that and I wouldn't have known how the songs are supposed to be sung so hearing the narrator do it just was like of course that's beautiful oh my god and it's so good also the narrator you'd think it was a full cast it's just one girl you would think it was a full cast because she does different accents for every character the only one I didn't like was Jericho Jericho's voice was annoying but then again I don't really super like Jericho so there's that but anyway her accent for Theta is A plus. Like, it's so good. I love that, like, raspy, sultry, and, like, the accent that she gives her is just A grade. It's so good. I found this book to be 
just the right amount of spooky. Like this is a perfect fall read. This is Halloween, October, September read. Trust me. I know, I know a lot of other people say it and they are right. This is such, such, such fall vibes. Go pick it up right now. What else can I say? What's going to make you get this book? What's going to do it? Like, I feel like I'm giving a lot and I hope you're getting a lot because I'm going to need you to buy this book. I'm going to need you to buy it. I'm going to need you to read it. I'm going to need you to reread it. I'm going to need you to tell me about it. This is what I want. I want all of you that are watching this to comment and say that you either have already read it and tell me what your favorite stuff is about it and then we could talk about it because I will comment back, I swear. Two, um, I'm going to need you to either say that or I'm going to need you to say um, it's on my TBR and I'm going to read it right now or I'm going out and I'm buying this book this very second because if I don't hear that, I'm going to be like, y'all are all silly. You're all silly gooses and you cannot hear the truth because this, it's your next best read. Trust me. I need to shut up. I need to stop talking because I'm never going to stop raving about this book and this video has to come to an end eventually and I need to start Layer of Dreams, which I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. But anyway. I'm gonna let you go for now and what I'm gonna say is if you would subscribe to this channel that would be freaking amazing like I love that and I would love if you uh liked this video I will also have my Instagram and my Goodreads link down below I post on there like a lot and I'm also accepting friends on Goodreads right now so go send me a request and I will add you and anyway thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have an amazing day bye